It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! Taking out my extension. So short and damaged. Burn! Little ah! quick leap back to remove the gray. Salmon pink. Hopefully the toner saves it. It's working. Love the color. I see. Come on 24 inches. Looks so good. Now let's cut. I love it. I'm dyeing my hair pink. <laughs> this might be a stupid decision, but I just can't help myself. I don't really know a lot about color theory because I dropped out of college. <laughs> I think I need to add a hot pink. Bye bye blonde, I'll never be able to be blonde again because my hair is dead and it'll literally fall off. You were missed. You literally got me a man. The blonde riz is over. I know y'all are about to be mad at me, but like, I don't even care. All the comments on my last video were like, no, don't do it. Like, that makes me want to do it more. I don't think this pink is dark enough. <laughs> this is already going bad. I'm going to dye my bangs. I don't even know if this is going to cover all my bangs. Why didn't I prepare for this? Who knows? I hope it matches the brown that's in my hair or am I might my life damn i keep saying i'm gonna do that and i never do it so i need to stop making false promises <laughs> fuck i got it in the pink i think it's time to wash out my bangs B -R -B. <laughs> this is how it came out <laughs> i look even younger now so i'm gonna do my makeup and like show the final results i swear I'll, it'll look a little better just give me a sec <laughs> i told you i would eat this up didn't i tell you that i was gonna eat this up i loves it like in my bob era hey Give me me at my hotel With nothing on under your trench coat In case you missed it, I'm bleaching my hair, but there's only 11 days until my pageant, so it has to be perfect. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm blonde. And this is an issue. For one, I can't really pull it off, but also, you can't show up to your pageant not looking like your headshot, and I was not blonde a week ago. I was freaking out. I tried to convince myself it wasn't that bad, and then my mom tried to give me some advice. But she was more worried about my messy bathroom than she was about my Oompa Loompa hair. It's the middle of the night, and honestly, it's so close to the pageant that most stylists are booked, and color corrections are really hard to do, so I just had to fully commit. I've dyed my hair before, and I always go through this raccoon stage, but it usually ends up coming together, so it's what I'm hoping for. This is also my first time lightening with 30 volume developer, and let me tell you, it lifts a whole lot faster and a whole lot stronger than the 20 volume. Also, I wish I didn't make so many jokes about frying my hair off because it kind of happened. Karma is very real. Anyways, it started coming together as I took the last few foils out, and then I washed out all the bleach, and this is what I'm left with. I'm glad it's still dark, but I won't know the final color until it dries, so right now, I'm just gonna go hide the bleach.
the Dyson Airwrap dupe on TikTok shop. Now let's review it because I have a haircut that I don't know what to do with. I don't think I've ever really had my hair this short and my whole haircut is a razor cut. So when I try to do it with a normal curling iron, it kept leaving pieces out and just wasn't cute. I've been trying a lot of different ways on my channel on how to actually style it just because I don't know what I'm doing right now. I remember like two years ago when everyone got the actual Dyson who spent like what, $500 on it? You guys are crazy. The one I got is under 50 bucks. And all the people trying to use it for the first time was the funniest thing. Well, when I went on live, you guys told me the tips and tricks and I freaking got it quickly. This is now my new favorite device. You have to put mousse in your hair before to make that hair curl last. I'm editing the next morning and my hair is still bouncy and curly and volumized. It looks like I just came from the salon. This thing's a five in one. It can curl, it can blow dry, it can straighten. I literally need that living in an RV. I have limited space and I just need one device that can do it all, especially under 50 bucks. I'm just annoyed I didn't get this sooner because it would have been so much easier than blow drying it and then going back in and curling it. This sucked in all my layer pieces that I need to get that curl and that bounce. Look how volumized it is. I'm obsessed with it. I linked it in my TikTok shop below. Try it out. It's worth it for under 50 bucks. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> uh, it's time again. I know that you guys never actually saw this style and I am so sorry for that. I did post a YouTube tutorial on it. I did my hair twice in 24 hours. Last week, I stayed awake all night. Literally, I started my hair at midnight. I finished my hair at 6.30 a.m. I was just having a good old time, just hanging out in here by myself. This is like my Anakin tail. I love my goddess braid. Ooh, how do I get it this length from the get? I need a comb. Why are you doing this? Because you were home. What scary movie was that from? Ooh, it was so creepy. It was Strangers. How are you just gonna come to my house in the middle of nowhere in the woods and just kill me. How you just decide to do that? If someone tried to do that to me, I would probably just laugh because I feel like that'd really throw them off. I just broke my brush. Anytime I get any of these sparkly ones from the beauty supply store, they break. Don't get these. I bought three of them and they all broke. No matter how beautiful and sparkly it is, don't do it. It breaks. Meet some woman on the internet and take her home. So I don't go get my eyelashes done anymore. I just do them myself at home like these. And I think I got the eyelash glue on my eyelid and my eyelid's been like sticking weird all day. I don't understand how I shaved my head and my head is still white. Oh yeah. Ooh, I have like sensory issues right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, am I done yet? No. My whole desk is covered in glitter too because I'm still trying to teach myself how to do makeup for the Taylor Swift concert. One side done. We're making great time. I don't know how much time it's been. Look at those crisp parts. Mojo Dojo Casa House. This looks like my real hair. It can't be. It's not, it's darker. Just not home. It's all out. Let's see if we can make it stick straight up. I have so much hair. What the heck is all this? Oh, I have to go shower now. That's crazy that I have all that on top of my head. I have hair again. It's such a big responsibility. It's so easy when it's short. And this was all that was on my head. That's not even a lot. That's like a chihuahua. Uh, come back tomorrow when I straighten my hair. Okay, bye. Let's tackle some grown out roots together. Today's game plan is a berry red with a pink money piece. And during our consultation, we actually had discussed that we we're going to go for a melted money piece rather than something that's really bold from her root. So how I'm going to start this is I'm going to start by applying a separate root formula, which is going to be one shade darker than the rest of her hair. I'm going to go in with a different mids and end formula. And now for the star of the show, which is her money piece. This is not liner. This is actually a color remover I'm painting on. This way I'm able to break down down any previous color that was in her hair and we have a nice clean base to apply the pink on. If you want to learn how I formulate my next class is on September 10th in San Diego. The link is in my bio.